All right, got it back on the face. I took it off the body to uh, continue working on it. I'm going to try to finish the face today. And uh, I've decided not to put a hat on him. I've decided to put the hat on his back. And I don't know whether I'll stick to that or not. But I kind of like the idea of the hat back there on his back. And I'm going to change his mouth a little bit because it looks like he's got a mustache and I don't want him to have one because he didn't have one in the picture. So I'm just reworking the mouth a little bit. Time to play with some clay. Okay. Just fine tuning the face a little bit. It's really starting to look like them, which is good. I read a description of Jim Bridger, and he was over six feet tall. Straight as an arrow and stature. Interesting. Before I hit it with the uh, Lighter fluid. I just want to do a little shaping here. Do a little texturing on his beard. I don't want to get carried away with that. I had a little bit of a hair underneath his chin, I mean lip. So I'm going to put just a little tiny blob of hair right there. Okay. We'll hit it with some of my lighter fluid now. As soon as I find a brush to do it with.
Pretty close. That's pretty close, I think. Okay. All right, what I'm doing is I'm just trying to decide where the bandana is going to go. I pull his ears away from his head a little bit so I can keep the line going all the way around his head properly. You don't want to have a, something on his head that's higher over here than it is over there. So you just uh, work it out and then join it together back here where he'd tie it. Now you start putting detail in. Now he'd have it folded over and he'd have a Okay, that's uh, the loose part of the uh, bandana that's uh, not quite tight on his head. And I'm going to make a wrinkle that goes up to that. Okay, I'm going up there like that. Make a wrinkle going into the fold. I don't have a model in front of me, so I'm just sort of doing this out of my head. Okay. Now I need sides to this. Uh... All right, I'm going to hold off on doing the hair because, quite honestly, I haven't got his neck all sculpted in, and I still got to do that. So I'll do that next time. Uh, actually, when I put his body head back on the his body, I'll uh, do that and then work on the hair. I'm going to do some research right now on bandanas. I want to see how the structure of this back loose area would be. And... Uh, Try to get it to next tomorrow next time better. It's slow. It's it just you have to have patience because if you don't have patience, you're not going to create anything worth keeping. So I'm going to call it a night and uh, get back here tomorrow. Okay. Good night, everybody. Jim Bridger's starting to come into to life. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video. It will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.